Hi everyone. A uh, few people have asked me uh, when I feed my sea monkeys if they are babies, uh, if they eat from the top or eat from the bottom, or uh, what they eat. So actually, ignore any food that is in the surface, ignore any food that is in the bottom, the food had to be uh, floating in this area because uh, in the first uh, couple of weeks they only eat what they can swim through. So. Uh, what I say is that uh, if you look, uh, hopefully this video will be able to show it. Here I have a, a level scoop of sea monkey food. And by the way, uh, this is only for a demonstration. Ignore any sea monkey that you see. Ignore all the algae that is in there. Uh, my only purpose is to show you the, the actual particles of food that uh, the baby sea monkeys and the very young juveniles will be able to eat until they grew, grow a little more. Okay, so hopefully, let me see if the wisps become visible when I drop the food. So I'm going to drop the food here. Okay, so hopefully, mm -hmm. there we go. You see like certain things are dropping and there are like certain wisps, certain lines coming down from where I drop the food. You see that there is a lot of food on the top in the surface. Most of it, will not be eaten by the uh, babies or the young juveniles because most of them will be swimming in this part with the same coin all the food that is here heavier that will drop to the bottom they will be not uh, swimming in that area so and most likely the particle that fell to the bottom will be too big for them to eat. Again, the particles need to be in this area because they will be swimming through them. So, if you have uh, something, right now I have a lot of algae here, so imagine that uh, the algae is uh, all the heavy food that uh, uh, have been built up for a time. So for the babies to have the most benefit, you want to have something that will move uh, the uh, steer the bottom. So as an example, it could have a airstone or could not have an airstone, that's fine. I have an airstone, so I would use that as an example. As soon as I can uh, get it ready. Okay, come. Okay, ignore the, the algae in the, on the airstone. That uh, it's because it crossed there because I leave that airstone and all. So the important thing is that see that there is movement. Besides that, that movement is improved dilation and by osmosis is uh, improving the the oxygen being dissolved into the water you see that it's moving all the particles that are in the bottom. So you want to do the similar 
with uh, with whatever you use either if you do it manually with uh, a pipette like this one that you do the variation like this so at the same time that you do variation another benefit uh, is that you move any particles that have settled in the bottom as you can see and so the smallest particles that before uh, after days of feeding settle on the bottom then it will get back into this area where the babies and the very young uh, uh, juveniles are swimming and they will be able, able to eat it so forget about uh, the food that is in the surface and forget about the food that is in the bottom the baby and young juveniles that uh, will be eating as swim uh, as they swim are in this place and that means that the particles need one to be small enough to float around for a while and uh well first they need to float around because as you can see yeah, some of these are too big uh, but the smallest one will be continue moving around uh, longer if you if I remove the their pump you see that is they still moving around for a while so in that time the smallest particles will have a chance to be eaten by the babies and the very young juveniles uh, if you leave it permanently even better uh, first you see that all the food in the surface went away, or oh, mostly away. So, any uh, e there will be more chance of anyone eating it because the 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 adults prefer to go to the bottom to look for food more often, and the babies, as I said very rarely are in, in the top. They normally are in all the side. So the more food is moving around, especially the smaller particles, the better chance they have to eat it. So bottom line, for babies, when you feed with this, the foot on the top doesn't matter, the foot in the bottom doesn't matter. What is important is the foot that is that hangs around a little longer in this area because that is where the babies and young juveniles will be able to get it. Uh, and you have uh, a mean to steer the foot in the bottom. Uh, that is even better because it will give more chance for the smaller particle to be moving in this area. Okay, so that should be it about uh, what the baby and and John jo very John Jovanel so sea monkeys eat.